All right, welcome back to the channel. We're going to go over this fire that happened November 21st, 2021 in a Cessna. And it was due to this project that was trying to install new equipment in these Cessnas in Alaska to help them out, but ended up causing fires. So it was one pilot, five passengers, and they departed. And shortly after, they started smelling burning electrical. There was smoke in the cockpit. The pilot had to open up side windows and they returned to the airport only to find out later on that it was because these wiring, it was rewired due to the, in, the new installation of that equipment. And the wiring was put over the aluminum fuel line. And after some chafing, that wire was exposed, which caused the smoke and the fire. And it was behind this pilot seat. So they got out of the aircraft. They landed safely. But because there was no fire presence there, which all it would have took was an extinguisher, this ended up burning this aircraft. And so the emergency landing on uh, runway one left at Bethel Airport. So good on the pilot for calling that emergency, opening up the window, allowing him to, you know, get the smoke out so they don't have any smoke insulation in there. But the whole reason behind it was the project. So this was a 27, uh, 207A, a Cessna. And the project was all to help the people in Alaska because they were running into different type of safety problems because there's a lot of just um, aircraft or Cessnas are a good um, primary way for them to transport because they're so far apart. And so they were having control flights into terrains. It was going to help with um, accidents associated with um, mid-air collisions, inadequate flight information, especially there's such bad weather in Alaska. A lot of times um, pilots get lost or, and they're unable to find the aircraft, inadequate infrastructure to support IFR operations. So the idea itself is really good to help. Um, and this is the type of things that they were doing. So it helps with um, moving maps. It gives you terrain proximity, weather and flight information, all these things installed in these Cessna 207As. But the bad thing was, was now you're rewiring it. This is not a Cessna um, build. You know, this is this, you're trusting this capstone um, avionics project to go ahead and rewire your aircraft. So I want to know, would you guys allow this in your aircraft if somebody approached you and said, hey, I'm, we're starting this project to help. You know, we're going to install these different types of uh, equipment into your Cessna. Uh, would you be interested? Um, you know, there's a lot of positives to it because I heard they did find a downed pilot lost in the woods because of this installation. But then also now there's 200 planes with potential wires chafing against their fuel lines. So they sent out emails to try to find those aircraft to fix it. But um, yeah, comment below if you would be interested or you would do this uh, type of projects in the future. This is our photo. I'm Keone and I'll see you guys next time.